Welcome back to my channel. This is Sam from Teacher Dauntis and today we are going to discuss something very important about digital note taking which is how to use an iPad and an Apple Pencil or any kind of tablet or stylus to take notes during your lectures. Let's grab our iPad and get started with OneNote. If I click on this uh, OneNote option right here, here is my digital note taking course that I was talking about. So you will see that this is the going to be the lecture one. Whenever I want to type something, then I would always click this last icon right here next to the settings icon. So uh, I would show you quickly what settings I can have, but this is going to be my full screen option. And this is going to be my show navigation option. Navigation, full screen, full screen, navigation, easy peasy. All right, let's jump into taking notes. For example, I want to start here and uh, I would I have all these options in the top. The first one is undo redo button. So if I draw something, I can quickly say undo and redo those things right here, the regular ones. This is text option. So if I click here, I might start seeing a virtual keyboard on my uh, a keyboard on my iPad uh, in which I can type something right away if I don't want to draw. Then later I have this uh, selection tool. Now this selection tool can select any area that I'm working on. How is it useful? I'm going to show you quickly in a few seconds. Next is insert. This is going to be my favorite, favorite tool right here because every time I want to draw, some, jot down some notes, I'm going to insert some space right here. And my question could be course director. The feeling of writing with this Apple Pencil on an iPad is amazing. Just so you know, it's as good as writing on a pen and paper. People keep saying that it's not the same feeling. I'm like, you are wrong. You, you have to stop being so fussy and just accept that this is amazing technology. Okay, so for example, I just wrote down course director here and you just learned how did I create a space. Now I will go back to this selection tool. And for example, I just do not want to keep director here. I later decided that I want to keep director under the course so I can drag them like this. And if I hold the corner, I can minimize this content and I can keep it right here so that next to it, I can write Dr. Gregor, whoever my instructor is. So that was a quick way to show you how I can move things around. And here is an eraser. So if I don't want this information here, I can just get rid of it. These are different kind of pen options that I have available. If I hold the thing there with my pencil, like this, then I can move this uh, this uh, menu all the way across. And here you would see I have more options for pen or highlighter. Highlighters are amazing. You can just highlight that, okay, this thing is very important, highlight it. Uh, this thing is very important for me, highlight it. This is the most useless thing that is going to help you. It's never good to highlight things in your notes because whatever you highlight, what was your question? Like, are you highlighting it because it's important or are you highlighting because it's something that you forget? Whatever it is, highlighting does not help you remember that information. It's a myth that if I highlight it, I would remember it. So that's just a personal thought or there is some research behind it, but sure, it's up to you if you take it or not. So I don't use highlighters at all. I love using pencils and you can see that right now I'm using a black background, but in my MacBook, I show you I was showing you in a white background because um, I just use this kind of features on iPad that I always keep everything in the black background in the dark immersive background. So I use red as a neutral color because red works great on black as well as white. So I take all my notes with red. But if you like to change something, if you want your pen to be more thicker or thinner, then these are the points you create. So this is going to be the normal one. This is going to be a thicker one and this is going to be a very thin one. So you can appreciate the difference, whichever feels more comfortable to you and you can pick your favorite color, whichever gives you a good feeling of writing notes and there we go. So one thing that I do all the time is active note taking. There's a Cornell technique. I will give you a little bit more information about it, but the Cornell technique says that every question or every topic has to be associated with certain questions. And in this world, we need to make sure that we are memorizing only relevant information. We do not want to remember information which is not going to be asked in exams. If that's not important enough, then I do not need to occupy a certain part of my brain to store that information. So what I'll try to do is, I will try to write down questions 
for each of my slides. So let me just scroll down here and find out certain thing which might be asked here. Histories, allergies, including details of reported allergy. 10% patients self-report, 90% are not. Okay, I just picked a random line, but this gives me an option that, okay, there are certain people who report allergies and certain do not. So I might get a wrong information from my patient. What is the question that my examiner will ask me? The question will be, how often would you see patients with true allergies? And the answer to that would be 10%. That's a cool question. That's how I create questions with every slide. And now I want to write down that question. So how do I do that? I go into the insert space option up here again. You can see it's highlighted. That means it's working. And then I would create some space right here. Insert and I would create space. So you like we are scrolling down the slide. Before I go to this part, this slide, I want to ask myself this question. Before I reveal this slide to me, I want to ask my question. 10% only self-report their allergies. 80 to 90% never report or self-report their allergies. So that's an amazing question for me that 80 to 90% people do not self-report allergy. So I just created the space as I showed you. And now I'm going to type my question or write down my question using my uh, notebook right here that how many patients self-report their allergies? And that's it that's that's going to be my question and now when i'm trying to scroll down this notebook now when i'm trying to scroll down this notebook like this i would stop by at this attractive looking color how many patients self-report their allergies and before i see this slide i need to answer this to myself or say that i don't know this answer and then i would see okay 10 percent. that's great and i move on if i see multiple um multiple questions that can be created from this one slide, then I'm gonna use all the space available and I'm gonna ask that question to myself. So for example, one to 10% have reaction like rash or vomiting and only 0.004% to 0.015% have a true type one hypersensitive reaction or the true type of allergy. That's another question that I want to ask myself. So once again, I'll create some more space right here so you can see, I just created an extra space. I need a little bit more. So I have created some more space here. So I have sufficient space available now, and then I'll go back to my question and maybe I will just draw a line here to separate this question. And then I would say how many have true allergy just to keep it simple to myself i can also write how many have a hypersensitive reaction uh, type 2 hypersensitive reaction uh, due to reported allergy but that's how i would create questions for every single slide so let's go to the next one if i see here uh, gather information about this system cardiac system okay these all are normal things um, vital signs how um, vital signs include pulse respiratory rate blood pressure, SpO2, and temperature. So I need to ask myself, what all are included in vital signs? I should memorize that information really well. So I would create another question right here. And my question is going to be, uh, what are the five vital signs? And that's how I would review any lecture. Uh, this is the way when I would actively ask myself a concept, because if I keep scrolling down like this, okay, pulse, okay, pulse, okay, this, Sometimes we don't even pay attention to half of the text in that slide. So this way, once we create questions for it, we are actively learning something. So this was just a quick preview of my Skillshare course on Microsoft OneNote digital note taking. Please check out the link in the description below and join the course for free using that link. Bye for now. If you are a student and still making notes using simple old school pen and paper, then this course is going to be a life changer for you. This one course is going to take you from old school paper based note taking towards digital note taking using Microsoft OneNote.
Using Microsoft Word Note, you can handwrite notes or type it up using your laptop. There are so many ways, but this is going to transform the way you learn things, the way you memorize. And there are so many small trips and tricks for exam, focus, studies, and note taking that I'm going to discuss in this one course right here. Some people try to jot down every single thing that is being discussed in their lectures into their note taking, but I will teach you how to make sure your notes are customized towards acing your exam and learning the content which is most important and relevant to the course. We all strive to be the perfect student and make those perfect notes and in this course we will learn using Microsoft OneNote how can you have the notes that will help you ace your exams. So welcome to my Skillshare course on how to take digital notes using Microsoft OneNote. My name is Sam from Teach Odontist. I'm a YouTuber, a dentistry student, a teacher at Community College and I also have courses on Udemy which is on how to ace competitive exams and how to prepare for a dental school interview. And that's enough about me. Let's jump right into digital note taking with Microsoft OneNote. Join using my affiliate link as given below or somewhere on the screen and you would get one month of free subscription for Skillshare where you can go through this course for free and many other amazing courses on Skillshare. So join now and let's start learning Microsoft OneNote today.